They call him the Elon Musk of the people. Gu Yuping, 42, from Heilongjiang, China. With nothing but passion and persistence, he's built hundreds of vehicles, all by himself. Once a simple carpenter, he taught himself welding, coding, and engineering, turning raw materials into moving dreams. His machines can climb stairs, conquer mountains, and even glide across water. He's built a bed car you can lie on while driving, a wheelchair that climbs stairs, and an amphibious car that shifts modes with ease. From a small garage, he built more than machines. He built proof that no dream is too big to begin. In the United States, a new safer way to work on roofs has been created. The tool is called the Pitch Hopper, and it helps roof workers feel more comfortable. It works on many different roof slopes, and has a special foam bottom that grips the roof tightly without harming it. Staying on the roof becomes easier, but workers should still wear a safety harness. This person owns an owl as a pet, one of the most impressive birds of prey in the world. In the wild, its diet consists of hunting small mammals like mice and rabbits, which it must eat whole to get proper nutrition. However, owning one is nothing like having a dog or a cat. They are wild animals with very specific needs that require large spaces, specialized care, and constant attention to ensure their well-being. This is traditional Lebanese stone house construction. Builders use locally quarried limestone, cut and shaped by hand. Each block is stacked to form thick, load-bearing walls that keep the house cool in summer and warm in winter. Wooden frames support arches and domes during construction, then are removed once the stones lock in place. Lime mortar binds everything together, and triple-arched windows complete the iconic look. Look, these homes aren't just shelters, they're living pieces of history built to endure generations. He gently places the bird in a small holding tub so it doesn't flap around. This is part of a traditional pigeon remedy called Kalapati treatment. The keeper warms a garlic clove over a flame just enough to soften it and release its oils. Then, using scissors, he cuts a small piece and feeds it carefully like a pill. Keepers believe this is the most effective way to this care for the bird. This test should be done on every construction site, as the reason behind it is quite genius. Because normally, thick concrete doesn't flow well, which leads to dangerous air gaps inside. So vibrators are used to help spread it evenly to reach all the corners and tight spaces of the structure, as having air gaps can make the whole structure fail. But self-compacting concrete is different, and it doesn't need vibration at all, as it flows smoothly and fills every corner just by gravity. So to test out the concrete's performance, engineers fill a cone-shaped mold and lift it straight up. And if it spreads wide and fast, then the concrete will fill in gaps easily. But if it's tighter and slower, then it will probably need to This bench in China makes falling in love a literal thing. It's designed for singles. If you're into someone sitting there, you sit down on the other side and the bench tips, sending them falling right into you. I guess this is a cool story to Check tell your kids out. one day. This isn't clay. It's a completely natural indigo dye. It begins with indigo leaves soaked in fresh spring water for several days, slowly turning the liquid a deep, rich blue. Once the leaves are removed, the mixture is stirred until foamy and left to rest a little longer. The top layer of water is then poured away, revealing the thick indigo sediment beneath. For centuries, rural communities across Asia have perfected this process creating one of the world's oldest and most beautiful natural In Brazil, dyes. many truck drivers lift the rear of their trucks by up to two meters and lower the front, calling it the Brazilian style. While they say it helps handle rough roads, the main reason is security. Highway robbers often jump onto the back of trucks to steal cargo, and raising the rear makes it much harder for them to climb on. Why are Indonesian police cutting truck mud flaps on the road? Those long swinging mud flaps might look cool, but they can cause real trouble. They block brake lights, kick up stones, and sometimes even get tangled in the wheels. So when police spot extra long ones, they don't find the driver. They simply cut them off right in there Japan, on the road. In Japan, snow isn't just cold, it's power. In the city of Aomori, they get up to 8 meters of snow every year. Instead of dumping it, scientists store it in special pools. The temperature difference spins a turbine, and boom, electricity from snow. Only in Japan, turning winter into watts. Whenever you buy a new pan, don't rush to cook right away. It needs a little spa treatment first. That first oiling isn't just a ritual, it's called seasoning. As the pan heats up, the oil bonds with the metal, forming a natural shield that keeps rust away and lets food glide effortlessly. And with every meal you cook, that layer only grows stronger. What you're seeing is the controlled demolition of a 65 meter tall chimney in Plymouth, England. Built 123 years ago to serve a power station, it once guided sailors at sea and stood as a symbol of home for locals. Now, with each strike breaking its peak, it feels like a piece of the city's history is falling with it.
This is why people from China are more intelligent than those from Germany. Whenever this person needs irrigation for the canal, so puts this filter into the canal water, and at the same time connects the pipe pump to the machine, tightens it with a screw using, and starts the machine. And the interesting thing is, they do the irrigation work using the same machine used for this farming land. that some restaurants will do anything to stand out. In Houston, there's a place where the ceiling has projectors that show a tiny chef cooking your meal. The animation follows every ingredient step by step, perfectly timed to how long your food actually takes. And when the mini chef finishes cooking, that's when your real meal arrives at the table. Won't you believe it? These people risk their lives every day. Yes, this is Vietnam. When farmers harvest bamboo from the forest, it is thrown directly into the river. Then, riding on it, they brave the dangerous waves to bring it home. These same bamboos are then buried in the marshy ground, creating a strong foundation for a new home. And once a new house is built on this foundation, it won't sink into the ground for even 200 years. Look, this guy attaches a string to this tool and places a candle right above it, then lights it up. As the candle starts melting, the wax slowly drips down onto the string, collecting neatly instead of going to waste. Once it cools down, he simply removes the hardened wax, ready to reuse it again. A clever little way to recycle candle wax without any mess.